climate resilience to my country means that we are more active in making sure that the impacts of climate change in our communities and in our research and in our daily lives is actually we are more ahead of the impacts rather than us reacting to them and I think once we get to that climate resilience and the real meaning of it we are able to manage our stresses and our and our impacts on climate change. I think young African voices have a lot of current solutions that they can use to solve issues in climate change. Young people are more active, young people are more interactive with the community and with people and especially young professionals in our country. They are the ones that actually are linking their research to community as well as to actually having the solutions on the ground. So we need more young people to bring that balance onto the solutions on, on climate change. I think it's very important that they focus on resilience because with Africa being a developing country and especially South Africa, there's a lot of in f like fragmentation in leadership as well as in the way that we implement our policies in our country. So if we actually involve and we focus on resilience, we're going to actually start to talk about the solutions and what we can do not to be um, proactive or to, to react to these changes, but to rather be proactive in actually finding these solutions. The summer should aim to achieve that the solutions that are being spoken and the, the ideas that are actually being spoken of in the summit are actually being done on the ground. So the link between what is being communicated on the ground and what is actually being done on the ground with the leaders, how are they actually going to create this gap to actually be mitigated between the two.